Hi guys, Ramon here and in this video I'm going to show you how to configure Swagger in a Spring Boot and Maven application. If you always wanted to know how to configure Swagger, now is the time to you to learn. And before we start, if you didn't subscribe yet, please subscribe to support the channel. So let's go! So I've already opened the project here. This is a, a fresh new project and what do we need to do? The first thing we need to do is install the dependencies. You must open POM XML and I'm gonna put here the three dependencies that we need. I'm gonna paste here. Okay, let's increase the zoom and we need these three dependencies uh, Spring Fox Swagger UI, Spring Fox Swagger 2 and Spring Fox Boot Starter. After that, don't forget to click on this button to refresh and download the dependencies. Okay, what is the next step? We need to create a file to configure Swagger. Let's go. I'm going to create a package here called config and I'm going to create a class here called swagger config new class swagger config okay increase the zoom here now we need to annotate this class with two annotations the first one is configuration and the second one is enable Swagger 2. Okay, that's it for the annotations. Now we need to create a bin. Let's go. Bin. And let's create a method here. Public docket here. I'm gonna call it API. Now we have to build a docket instance. Return new docket. We're gonna pass uh, a parameter called Swagger2 uh, documentation type Swagger2 select APIs request handler selectors dot base package let me close and to allow us to see better now we need to put here the path to the controllers files I haven't created it yet I'm going to create the file now okay let's create a new package here controllers and let's create a class called cars with the attributes called um, name okay now we have the path here cannot copy and paste here Okay, now we have the path in the right place. The next property is going to be paths. Let's uh, select uh, any 
path selectors any okay now we're going to build it and put extra info here info new api um info builder title uh, let's put um, uh, dev cars and the description is going to be i don't know dev cars api something like that uh, let's go build it and we're good here okay now we have all the configuration uh, we need to run swagger alongside the project okay uh, let's go create uh, the endpoints let me close here here uh, Okay, controller, let me delete that because controller doesn't need to have it. In the time I create, the file uh, in my mind was the model, not the controller. It was a mistake. Let's create a controller now. Annotate it with controller annotation. Better with rest controller annotation and request mapping to the path api slash b1 slash cars okay control out o okay let's create the first endpoint called um list all okay public uh, public void for now uh, list all and okay let's annotate that with request mapping and create here at least just for this example um, okay let's create it list let's create a model here to facilitate uh, our work new package model and here I'm going to create the class called car and now we can put the property uh, name. name let's create a constructor here and a get method a get method here okay that's it going back to the controller uh, the list of cars Okay, let's import uh, okay here cars okay let's return the list okay uh, cars right let's change the return type to a list okay okay we have finished the first endpoint to a uh, okay this this is not right it's a get mapping now it's correct get mapping okay let's create the um, second endpoint called 
save public void save okay and let's annotate it with uh, post map okay post mapping receiving here um, a name okay string name okay let's create a new car here passing name as a parameter let's create a variable okay and add this new car to the car list cars add car okay that's it for this controller the intention here guys is to sh only show you how to configure swagger that's uh, why this class is so simple okay one more thing if uh, you are using the spring boot 2.6.4 and the spring fox 3 like here and here and here you must add to the application properties okay you need to add to the application properties this line here otherwise the application won't run you got exception instead i think in the future they will fix this bug but until now no let's now uh, run the application and see if everything is fine okay run let's see if everything is fine okay so far so good now let's see if the swagger is working okay it's working let me uh, drag the browser to this screen and we have here the swagger and the description we put here and the title that we put here the title and the description and here we have the to the get and the post list all and save and the good thing is you can test it just click on this button try it out and execute the result is an empty list okay because we don't have any car saved let's uh, use the another endpoint um, the post okay post try it out can put the name here yeah it's the value that we need okay we can put here a Ferrari okay execute we got a, a 200 code response okay let's use the another endpoint now the get is good now we have our first car here okay let's use again the post method um, let's put a uh, Mercedes now Mercedes okay yeah, that's enough is it cute 200 again and please all we're going to see two cars okay Ferrari and Mercedes so guys as you can see this is very swagger is very good to test your endpoint you can use it to send data and retrieve data from your API of course you can use another app as postman but swagger is 
a handy application that we can use to test all our API. You can also configure a password and, and configure some security mechanisms to the Swagger allow only authenticated users. Okay, let's go back to the IntelliJ and and this is it guys I'm going to um, put the link to this project in the description of this video and I hope you have learned something and if you enjoy this video please subscribe and share it and I will see you in the next video